why I'm gonna motoblog. So I've been riding for about a year and a half on the road. Um, so a friend of mine started asking about a motorcycle and uh, last year I was basically a newbie on the road. Uh, still a newbie pretty much. Um, and the advice I gave him was basically to take the course. Uh, I took the course last year too. Taught me a lot of stuff. Um, so anyways, we've been looking at uh, blogs online and we don't really see anything that's geared more towards new riders. So we thought we would do blogs. Uh, I got my equipment first, so I'm going to start on what new riders encounter on the road. Um, because everybody's point of view wants to basically tell you that they know what they're doing and they're experienced and all that good stuff. We just want to know, or we just want to let new riders know basically what difficulties we've come ar across as new riders. So that's going to be what our moto blog is going to be all about. So I don't have a ton of experience. I, I currently ride and this is my first street bike. I bought brand new. Uh, a lot of people tell you not to buy brand new if it's going to be your first bike because you will drop it. I guarantee that your bike, whether it be out of your, uh, from your own actions or the actions of somebody else, your bike will hit the ground. <laughs> uh, my first bike hitting the ground experience came from uh, an underground. So basically, a driver came barreling down the underground, didn't even give a crap that I was at the bottom, and basically nearly ran me over. As I panicked and tried to back up, uh, I slipped on some sand and <laughs> the bike hit the ground. Fortunately for me, uh, I was able to basically grab the bike on the way down and soften the impact between the ground and my bike. The basic only damage that I got was uh, my clutch here is now bent a little bit. It still works good and my bar end here has maybe a couple of scratches on it. That's it. Hopefully that's the one time my bike hits the ground. But your bike will hit the ground. So if you're completely vain and you need your bike to be perfectly pristine and you want to buy a new one, just know that your bike will tip over. Whether it be parked on the street and somebody knocks it over, that hasn't happened to me yet. Hopefully it never will. Um, your bike's going to get damaged. It's kind of like a car in a parking lot. Some douchebag's going to park beside you, open up his door, and you could be the last parking spot away from wherever the parking and that one person just has to park beside you. It's kind of the same on a motorcycle. The only difference is the damage that gets done to your motorcycle could be life-threatening. Especially if you didn't know what happened. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm on my way to my buddy's house now. The guy who's going to buy a, a motorcycle next year. He's got his eyeballs set on a FZ07. Uh, Yamaha. Hopefully he gets it. I'd love to ride with them. Um, yeah. So that's uh, one of my first rants. Why not? Plus this is just my testing to see if I can actually talk at the same time I can ride. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about on this ride was the Drift HD. So it's called actually called the Drift Ghost HD. Oh dear, I don't even know where to start with this. I purchased one and I tried to record a video on my phone. I'm not sure, my phone for some reason, anything over five minutes long is, uh, it's, it's not saving on my phone. Anyways, I started off with unpackaging the Drift Ghost HD. Uh, I basically bought it for my own peace of mind. Uh, you know, there, there was this video released just recently about uh, a rider who died uh, while wearing a, um, an action cam and you kind of got me thinking I used to have a, a contour and a contour GPS and I actually fell down a set of stairs and broke my ankle um, <laughs> unfortunately I was carrying my helmet in my hand at the same time and it flew into pieces 
but you know what? The, the footage inside was still good. Not that I was recording when I fell down the stairs or anything, but uh, I still was able to get all the, the, the footage um, from my camera after it fell into a million pieces. So, you know, I decided to go out and get another action cam uh, to put back on my helmet. Because I had to replace that helmet, obviously, you fall down a set of stairs, it goes flying. You don't really want to put that back on your head. Um, so, you know, I went out and I purchased, uh, after reviewing a lot of stuff online, I purchased the uh, Ghost HD. Uh, they came out with a new Ghost uh, S, uh, HD S, something like that. So the price of this one was pretty good. Uh, didn't pay too much for it. Not to mention the store actually put it on sale about a week later and uh, they gave me the difference in price and store credit and I ended up buying a, a visor that I wanted for my helmet. So that was good. I really like Royal Distributing, Whitby, Ontario. Big shout out to them. Uh, so the other problems. Unpackaged it, threw it on my helmet. I didn't do any firmware updates or anything. Um, started recording. It stopped recording after about a minute, maybe two minutes, three minutes. It would it would just give me an error. Um, actually, the footage wouldn't even record. It would say it was recording, but uh, when you tried to play it back on your computer later on, you couldn't retrieve any of it. Uh, and and that was actually uh, I looked in the instructions and it says 32 gig card, uh, class six or higher. So I had three or four 32 giggers laying around. Um, threw one of those in and you know I thought I was gonna be good to go without any extra expenses apparently not because uh, as soon as I bought a 32 gig class 10 card uh, it's class 10 um, you know it didn't have any of those errors so you know I was a little angry that I I had um, a little extra expense there uh, especially when the uh, what the hell is this guy doing Nissan of Sarnia, go figure. Um, you know, I didn't think I was going to have to have any ex extra expenses there. And it was a little upsetting to have to go out and buy another class, another 32 gig card, which I have a million of them laying around. Uh, but you know what? That was no problem. So then I did the firmware update. Uh, I actually was proactive on the firmware update because I had read some, um, some comments on the actual drift website that says if you don't do the firmware update you're going to have problems with an external mic okay, and I knew I wanted to do mo moto I wanted to at least try moto blogging at that point so you know I wanted to be proactive with avoiding that issue right off the get go so I did the firmware update that was simply fair it was a uh, Fairly easy if you know what you're doing with your computers. You just got to put a bin file on an SD card. No problems um, Got that done so then after that uh, I went out and <laughs> started searching around for An external mic. Oh Which that was um, so I started off with, uh, you know, Best Buy and all those kinds of places where you would assume you'd be able to find an external bike without a problem. Because, you know, they sell camcorders and, you know, they always have, like, gadget this and gadget that, you know. Okay, so none of those stores have it. Future Shop, Best Buy, don't even bother if you're in the GTA area. I even looked online for like online uh, purchases. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, so then I searched uh, the drift itself, who the real tail uh, retailers were that that were listed on the listed on the website. So Radio World came up. Um, actually, you know what? That's that's a lie. Rider's Choice came up as an actual official retailer of the drift stuff. I walked into a writer's choice and <laughs> they don't even sell the drift HD camera. So that, you know, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, so I walked out of there fairly frustrated because, you know, I really wanted to kind of try out this uh, moto blogging. And I actually think I'm doing all right right now, other than Mr. Sarnia driver, what the hell he was doing. Um, this seems simple enough. Uh, not bad. 
Um, okay, so my buddy looked up online, um, you know, where I could find this external mic stuff, and he came up with Radio World, sent me the link. Uh, checked out Radio World. They used to deal in drift stuff, and the website actually says that they have drift merchandise. Uh, you know, I walked in, I seen every walk of life when it came to an action camera up on their shelves, including a Garmin that I had never even heard of before, so I guess Garmin's getting into the, the whole, um, action cam business. And it's actually kind of funny, because it looks exactly like a Drift, only with the Garmin name on it. So, something must be hitting the fan there if, uh, Drift's not really making business out this way. Anyways, so I get home with this external, oh, not to mention all the stuff that I bought from Radio World was half price. Oh, I didn't ask for it. The guy just gave it to me at half price. He had to go to the back of the store and I don't know what he did back there, but this stuff didn't come from the shelves. So I got a suction, a suction mount and a external mic. So I came home and, uh, you know, tore, tore apart my helmet, uh, wanted to put the mic in there, got everything nicely set up, and to my surprise, the external mic, which is actually a drift external mic, doesn't fit into the drift camera. Now, at this point, I'm already fairly frustrated with drift, um, now I'm just friggin' angry. Like, uh, I don't understand how you have a drift product that doesn't fit into a drift product. Awesome. Um, so then I had to go to stores trying to find an adapter um, to get <laughs> the drift product to fit into the drift product. However stupid that sounds, uh, that's exactly what I had to do. Ended up having to go to the source and get an adapter that is a an adapter that it will turn the 2.5 jack into a 3.5 jack, which is what fits into the drift. So, if you're going to use the drift for moto blogging, uh, hopefully this helps you out with uh, <laughs> some frustrations that you might encounter because uh, it wasn't fun. Not at all. What a pain in the butt. We got it up and running. This is my uh, first moto blog. Hopefully, it turns out all right. We'll see. So, you know, don't, don't be afraid to ask. Everybody's got to start somewhere. And hopefully this is going to be one of those uh, channels that new riders will maybe, you know, check out every once in a while and ask some questions. Why not, right? Your new rider. Learn from other new riders. Hey, we might not even be teaching the right thing at the end of the day, but uh, at least we kind of, <laughs> we're not going to be somebody who's going to make fun of you or um, anything like that. Because we were, we're new riders right now. I mean, Frank hasn't even got on his bike yet. He's been on my bike several times. Uh, he loves it. Can't get him off the damn thing. Uh, and we'll see how he is on his own bike. He didn't drop mine. Hopefully if I ride his, I won't drop his. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that. Keep the rubber side down.